Heavenly Father, we come before you just saying thank you, Lord, for another day we've never seen before. We ask you for grace and mercy and understanding, Lord. We know that you're able to keep us from falling. And you, we know, God, that you have all power in your hand. And I thank you for that, Lord. Just give me the strength and understanding to know that all things are possible with your goodness and grace. Ask for all these blessings in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Also, I'd like a moment of silence for Miss Lottie Smith, who, um, for those of you who work for the post office, her son Keith Smith works for the post office. I don't know if Keith retired or not, but Lottie's been a resident of the city of Hammond a number of years. And I grew up with the majority of her kids, and um, she will be uh, funeralized tomorrow. Thank you. Roll call. Spitelli. Here. Venez. Here. Kelwinski. Here. Torres. Here. Higgs. Here. Emerson. Here. Warple. Here. Rakos. Here. Markovich. Here. Let the record show. Nine in favor, zero absent. Reading it a minute, Councilman President, Spitelli. I the motion to accept the minutes from July 8th, 2019. We put on uh, record, please. Second. Post by Councilman Spitelli, second by Councilman Higgs. That, uh, that was a name. Councilman Emerson, that the minutes be placed on file. Any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Approval of claims. Councilman Warple. Mr. President, I make a motion. We accept the claims as submitted, beginning with claims dated 7 12 19 and ending, ending with claims dated 7 17 19, claim 38 62 through claim 41 29 inclusive in the amount of $2,307,640.92. Motion by Councilman Warpel, second by? Second. Councilman Spitali that the claims be paid as a, a motion made by Councilman Warpel, second by Councilman Spitali that the claims be paid. Any discussion? Any discussion? Any discussion? Roll call. Spitali? Yes. Benez? Yes. Kelwinski? Yes. Torres? Yes. Higgs? Emerson? Yes. Warple? Yes. Rakos? Yes. Markovich? Yes, let the record, uh, claims are approved, eight in favor, one absent. Public hearings, we have none. Communications? Any communications? Any communications? Any communications? Communications is closed. Committee reports. Mr. President. Councilwoman Benez. Yes, I'd like to announce the upcoming community and crime watch meetings. Uh, I guess we're approaching the dog days of summer because we only have uh, one community meeting that's coming up uh, uh, before our next council meeting, and that will be the Pulaski Park Neighborhood Association. That is on Tuesday, July 30th, 6.30 p.m. at the American Legion on Goslin. I would also like to announce that uh, uh, coming up on August 6th is National Night Out Against Drugs and Crime, uh, sponsored by Mayor McDermott and the City of Hammond Community and Crime Watch groups. Uh, that will be from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Wolf Lake Splash Pad at 121st and Calumet Avenue. Uh, it's a great opportunity to get to know your neighbors, learn some crime uh, prevention tips and emergency preparedness. Uh, there will be a free hot dog, chips, and pop given for a non-perishable item that will be donated to a Greater Hammond Food Pantry. Uh, so bring a can of peas or beans or SpaghettiOs or pasta, macaroni and cheese, and you'll get a free uh, hot dog chips and pop. Uh, we have a lot of nice events planned for the evening. Of course, you'll get to meet uh, many of our firefighters and uh, police officers who serve and protect us, so that's an opportunity for uh, you to have a conversation with them 
about anything that speaks to you. Uh, there will be a canine demonstration, drunk driving simulator, um, face painting, music. So uh, please bring the family and come out. That's Tuesday, August 6th uh, at the Wolf Lake Splash Pad. Thank you. Any other committee reports? Any other committee reports? Any other committee reports? Committee reports are closed. Ordinance for third and final passage. We have none. Introduction of ordinances, we have them. Resolutions, we have them. New and unfinished business. Mr. President. Councilman Warple. Um, three months ago, uh, 69, 70, 71, 72, Alexander and Marshall, a lighting project was finished in that neighborhood on those four blocks. Two months ago, 71 and 7200 Alexander and Marshall's lights were turned on by NIPSCO. Beginning two months ago, myself and the engineering department have contacted as well as my engineer that is in charge of the project have contacted NIPSCO on almost a daily basis. And I've been getting resident complaints as early as late as this morning on when are them lights going to be turned on? I've, I've spoken with Ricky Kolinsky at NIPSCO. Um, work orders have gone out and no lights have been turned on. And I'm just making a point tonight that for all those residents of those streets, I'm well aware of the fact that for some reason those two blocks, those poles haven't been powered up yet. And NIPSCO and the city of Hammond and myself have been in contact a minimum of 20 times. That's all I got to say about it. Any other new and unfinished business? M Mr. President. Councilman Higgs. I, speak, I received the correspondence from Ms. Carwright in regards to a tree removal, and then I got a correspondence that was also given back to me from Devin Wick, uh, Director of Park and Forest Street Operations in the Hammond Park and Recreations. And it says, in this response to your letter of the third District Councilman Higgs in regards to the tree removal in the city parkway in front of my of your house, which is not my house, it's in front of her house. I investigated the issue and would like to explain the process for the removal of the city trees. We have an outside contractor do the removals. They will take the tree down and then grab and stray it below grain. Once the stub, stud is below ground level, the mulch is left on top of the facilitated dispulsion of the roots, mulch and roots given time will convert to soil. At your request, we will spread some grass seeds over the area, but we do not sod our otherwise landscape the city-owned parkways. We will need to leave the mulch in place at the time to assist in the progress as the sidewalk repair or the replacement and request can be made to the engineering department at 836-6336. From my understanding, initially when I went around throughout the district uh, addressing the concerns of some of the trees that were in the parkway, they were basically just cut down. After that, I have no um, knowledge of what they do, and this is the first time I received the correspondence, actually. Uh, but the reality of it is, is that they cut the tree down, and I understand, and take it out. And if the sidewalk is broken, they replace the sidewalk because we have funding available for that. But other than that, I don't know. So whatever she's requesting, I will, again, reach out to her, and she probably needs to contact him direct. I just wanted to put that out there. Any other new and unfinished business? Uh, we got one uh, thing here for Introduction for the draft master plan for downtown Hammond from this uh, Mr. Speck. And I guess it's almost like that Britney Sears uh, song, Oops, I Did It Again, because uh, the last time we had a meeting, we had a council meeting, and they scheduled this Mr. Speck at the Hast Academy. 
So going between a council meeting and going to the Hast Academy, you know, it made it hard for you know a lot of the council persons to attend. And then they had another one, I guess, on a Thursday night where the district councilmen and councilmen at large were not notified. The, the fifth district and sixth district, sixth district councilmen were notified. They attended a walkthrough for downtown Hammond. Well, here it is again. Department of Planning of the Mayor's Office of Economic Development scheduled this uh, downtown Hammond plan with Jeff Speck on August 6th, which Janet just went ahead and said it was National Night Crime Watch Night. So again, it's going to be hard to be at several, at two places at the same time. So you can take your pick. I'm just letting everybody, let them know what's going on out there. So August 6th, you got two places to go. Either go downtown Hammond and look at the new master plan or go see about crime. Thank you. Any other new and unfinished business? Mr. President. Councilman Higgs. I certainly want to just thank some, uh, I guess, some Facebook watchers or whatever you want to call them, but for their love and support of me and my tenure of being on the council. Thank you so much for showing your love and support, and hopefully we can continue to do what's necessary to move the third district and the city forward. I'm here for you. It's not about me, it's about us. Any other new and unfinished business? Mr. Chairman. Councilman, do you have communication or new and unfinished? Uh, we had communications, I'm sorry. I, I just listed that under new and unfinished business. That's the thing for the tech plan. I'm waiting for new and unfinished. Are we there? We're, we're there now. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Councilman Kowinski. I, I want to take a moment to uh, thank the Hammond Police Department for a, a recent uh, pop-up party in Pulaski Park that they, they uh, sponsored uh, with food, refreshments, cake, music, uh, a number of activities, and it was well received by our community. Uh, a lot of good interaction. I think a lot of uh, relationship building went on uh, during that afternoon, so I want to thank them for doing that. Uh, second, I want to thank the police department again for uh, their professionalism for uh, what they've done at Festival of the Lakes this year. Uh, they were very polite. They were very noticeable. People were complimenting them every night about uh, uh, their presence and handling business and how safe people felt at the festival. So I, a shout out to the police department for that as well. I want to also uh, say congratulations to the city and uh, Veterans Life Changing Services for their first annual stand down that was held at the Sportsplex last Thursday. A stand down is where uh, day or half day is devoted to veterans and active military where agencies come out, put out a table and provide resources, information and services. And this was Hammond's first and it was at the Sportsplex. There was actually a small band of veterans playing music there and um, over 150 veterans came through the door receiving various services and packages and supplies. Uh, special thanks to Hudamaki and Purdue Northwest uh, for their bags filled with uh, various items for every veteran that came through the door. And uh, uh, it went very well and I'm very proud of the city and Veteran Life Changing Services for sponsoring this event and I'm looking forward to the second annual event next year. So thank you to all peoples involved there. And a shout out to the Hammond Fire Department because they had a table there and they were passing out flyers to veterans saying that the fire department is actively looking for veterans for hire to the fire department. So kudos to the fire department, nice going you guys. And thank you to everyone for, for participating in that event. Any other new and unfinished business? Mr. President. Councilman Higgs. I guess my question would be to um, Councilman Kowinski, is this the first year that's been held in, in your district? It, it was the first year held in Hammond. Really? Yeah. This is done throughout the, the state, throughout the county, throughout the wow. country. Uh, and Hammond picked up uh, the ball and, and did a really bang up job. I've been to a number of these and uh, some of them are uh, uh, 
not well attended uh, and, and not many tables regarding uh, activities, services for the uh, vets. This event was packed. It was run well. It was conducted well. You can tell there was good planning that went on. And again, kudos to everybody involved in making that work. Any other new and unfinished business? Mr. President. Councilman Emerson. Uh, tonight, uh, even as we speak, they're probably going into the uh, uh, stadium in, in Whiting. Uh, the military all-stars are playing the oil men, and it's at Oilman Stadium. Uh, I believe it's 7 o'clock. 7.10. Uh, 7.10. Okay, thank you. And I just wanted uh, to make that announcement, uh, if no one's doing anything tonight, to uh, come on by and honor the veterans at uh, oil, uh, the Whiting Oiler Stadium, I believe. Mm -hmm. and veterans oh. are free, I believe. That's veterans, I'm free. sorry, veterans are free. And uh, it's a great ballpark. I've been there before. And uh, this is the third annual, I believe. So thank you. Any other new and unfinished business? Mr. President. Who was that? Councilman Higgs. I just wanted to make sure that we put, make this part of the record, um, the correspondence we received from Kaplan, Pendence, and Dolan, I guess in regards to the appointment to the South Shore Convention and Visitors Tour Bureau, Tourism Bureau Authority for 2019. Just, I just wanted to place that on a record of file so that they know we did receive their correspondence. Thank you. Any other new and unfinished business? New and unfinished Thanks. business is closed. Public expression. We have a William and Hall. You can come forward. Come on up. Come up. Oh. Give us your name and address and. Uh, Good evening, council members. Uh, my name is uh, William Anhalt. I live at uh, 6522 Parish Avenue, and it's uh, the Hessville area. And um, I just bought uh, the old uh, Crestone Music School building, and I'll be closing on, on, on the 16th. Uh, and I was, I'm in the middle of planning a 501C, uh, a not-for-profit, um, in that building, and I have some questions about zoning codes, uh, whether it's allowed in the area, um, anything that may go with that. Um, if you guys could help direct me a little bit. It, this has all happened very fast. I, I, uh, the for sale sign went up during the Hessville Street Festival a couple of weeks ago, so uh, I'm trying to get as much uh, information as I can and see if I could do, but m my, my idea is to have uh, a, a science and art center for the community. Uh, the most difficult uh, one that I have a, a question about is, is glass blowing in the area. And then, um, but I have um, intentions of um, trying to get a, um, a work study from uh, Purdue, some college students to do um, a, a robotics program there. Uh, for the community and see how that works out. So, thank you. This so, are you my council member? It's public expression, sir. Oh, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> just to help you out, Bill. Uh, just to help out. Oh, yes. Councilman Warple, Torres, and Rachel are on the building and zoning. You want to speak to them after? When yep. I'm, my suggestion would be get a hold of Brian Colin from zoning department, and then, uh, he'll help you out in that respect, what you have to do. And just for clarity, sir, they're all your councilmen. You have councilmen at large, and you have a district councilman. Uh -huh. So they're equally responsible for all the duties and obligations for the city. It should be interesting. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've, thank you for your patience. I've never done this before, so <laughs> you've been very kind. Thank you. Thank you. If anybody else wants to sign in, latecomers or anything? Make a motion that we. Chair would entertain a motion to. Make a motion that we leave this meeting, adjourn this meeting. Adjourn. That's what we're looking for. Motion by. Councilman Higgs. Councilman Higgs, second by. Second. Councilman Towers. All those in favor signify aye. by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. <laughs>